Right now I have my image open in Photoshop and we're going to be working with it uh, just a lot like a coloring book page, practicing to get really precise edges using the tablet and just getting more familiar with uh, using the Wacom tablet itself. Starting out we're going to be using the paintbrush, so I'm going to click on the paintbrush tool which is on the left side of the tool panel and I'm going to come up to where this folder is and this is basically all of the settings for your paintbrush. So again this little folder in the upper left hand corner. Um, starting out I'm going to choose just a regular paintbrush. So here's where all of your different brushes are stored. Um, I'm going to change the size of the brush, so making it a little bit smaller so I can have those detailed outlines. Um, something else that you can work with is going over to brush presets. So this is where you'll find a bunch of different brushes here as well. Um, when you're done selecting your paintbrush size, click these little arrows to hide the uh, brush presets. So I'm going to click that and they disappear. Uh, the other thing I want you to adjust with your paintbrush is the mode. So at the top here where it says mode by the brushes, this should be set to normal. It might be right now set on soft light from vignettes, but go back to normal. Opacity, I'm going to leave mine set all the way at 100%. To change the color of your brush, if you come over here on the right, you can um, select a color. Um, so I'm just going to choose black for now, but you can uh, scroll this dial here and select different colors to be working with. Uh, the next setting that you should adjust is at the top of the screen, right by uh, where it says flow. If you go two over from there, so this button on the end, you want to have that selected. So right now it's not selected. I'm going to click on that till the background is darker showing me that I have that selected. And that basically is called pressure for size. So as you're drawing with your paintbrush, the lighter you press on your tablet, the lighter your line is going to be, as long as you have that button selected. But the harder you press with your tablet, the darker your line is going to be. So you can practice that a little bit as you're working, having those varied sizes for your brush. So again, really lightly will give you light lines, and if you press, it will give you darker lines. Now I'm going to start coloring this image in, just thinking about it like a coloring book. Uh, but before I start doing that, the most important thing is to always add a new layer in Photoshop. So I'm going to add a new layer, which is right next to the garbage can in the layers panel. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to be coloring on my own layer, so I'm not including this background. Um, so in case I don't like what I do, I can delete my new layer and leave my background how it is. So again, that's the non-destructive editing. So definitely remember to add a new layer as you're working. As you're working on filling this in, I would recommend zooming in up close on your image to help you with the smaller details as you're shading. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to hold down Command on my keyboard and hit Plus on the keyboard, which is in the upper right hand corner. That's going to zoom in a bit so that I can work a little bit more detailed on these stars. Um, I'm going to choose more of a yellow color for my stars and start filling those in. Um, now you'll notice my brush is a little bit too big to be detailed with the stars, so I'm going to change that size, make it a little bit smaller. So this should be good to fill in my stars. So I'm going to start with the tablet and just begin outlining those stars and then filling it in with color. So just continue working, fill in um, all the stars with color. and then maybe choose a different color for the circle over here. So I'm going to go back to my colors, choose a light blue, and start outlining my circle. Now you'll notice that I leave my that if I leave my brush the size that it is, it would take a long time to start filling this circle in. So I'm going to go back to my brush panel and make my brush a little bit bigger so that it does not take as long to fill in that space. As you're working, I would also practice with um, the opacity, so maybe take down the opacity a little bit and uh, color in maybe one area to see how that overlaps. Um, you can also try taking down your flow. Um, if you take down your flow and you overlap your lines, you'll start to see those lines uh, kind of going over each other, so it'll be a little bit lighter in some areas. Um, Make sure that you're spending your time really filling in all of these shapes the best that you can. So try outlining all of them. Um, choose another color here and go over back over the circles. 
So just try and fill in um, everything that you can here. Uh, think again like this is a coloring book and just practice getting the feel for the tablet. When you're finished, be sure to save this as a JPEG and turn back into Classroom.